What's up YouTubers? Liam Mailer here again, back with another episode of Muscle Cook TV. Now today I've got a really special, special episode for you. This is going to be based around your cheat meal, your go-to cheat meal. And I'm going to show you how you can incorporate a cheat meal within your daily calories throughout the week. So it's not really a cheat meal, but it's going to be one that you're going to be using within your diet plan that's going to keep you on track. For me and my fiance and a lot of my mates over here in Scotland, our go-to cheat meal is a burger. We love burgers. We'll go out, a couple of beers and a burger if we're just kind of letting loose the weekend. But during the week, sometimes the cravings hit and sometimes you crave things and I understand that. So for me, when I was going into um, the summer, when I was wanting to diet down, I was really starting to crave when it was coming down to the kind of lower calorie weeks and I wanted to get something in place during the week that was going to satisfy the taste buds because we all know I love my flavour and was also going to keep me on track for keeping with my calories for the week. So here I'm going to take you through a high protein, low carb burger recipe. You're going to have bread, you're going to have seasonings, you're going to have loads of different little things to put inside it and it's so simple to make and it's honestly delicious. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get straight into it. So we're going to take a bowl, we've got 300 grams of low fat beef here. Now remember, depending on the fat content of your beef depends on the calories and the fat content of your burgers. Here we've got a low fat, I think it's about 5%. We got it from the local butcher. So 5% beef here, tasty, perfect. So we're gonna go for about two spring onions. You're just gonna throw those in as well. We have a clove of garlic, which equates to about a tablespoon of garlic. So we'll just put that in here. Um, we've got one onion, red onion, white onion, whatever you like. We've got white onion here. And rosemary. Now rosemary and meat are best friends. Back when I was talking about me and the buddies going out for burgers, that's rosemary and meat. You put those two together, you're guaranteed flavour. It's absolutely perfect. So we're going for about a tablespoon of rosemary. Pop that in here. And now onto the seasonings. Black pepper, just a touch. Slide that in. And then we're going to go for some sea salt. Again, flavour, and remember the sea salt gets cooked off while you're cooking it and while you're searing the meat, so don't worry about putting too much in, just enough. This is smoked paprika, you can get it in any local supermarket, it tastes perfect with meat as well. So we're going to put about a teaspoon, maybe just over, depending on how you like it. In there, perfect. And my little secret ingredient is just some Worcestershire sauce. Now, I've made this recipe countless times and I've added a few little things just to kind of get that extra bit of flavour. Now this one, it's not much. All you're needing is just maybe half a teaspoon. That's enough. And it just gives you that extra kind of bite, extra bit of flavour that I love. Okay, and then we're just going to crack an egg in. Now what the egg does is the egg's just going to pull everything together. You're not looking to make it a, a big kind of mushy mixture. You just want the egg to come in. It's just going to help everything stick together when you're forming the patties and when you're cooking it, it helps it. So that's us get everything in. We're just going to get into it. So when you come, watch what I'm going to do here. So you just want to get your hands in and mix the meat around with the egg. Now, once you're forming the patties, you don't want to form it too quickly. You want to get a good and get all the ingredients in mixed together because the egg's quite runny to begin with. So you just want to get it in and mix it right in about the meat and then it just becomes more solid, more durable and then you can make it into your patty. So it's my favourite part. So we're getting right in here. The meat's starting to form a bit of a tougher texture now, which is what we're looking for. So you maybe want to do this for about 30 seconds, not too much, just get right in. Depending on your meat again and how much you're using, how many burgers you're making, we're going to make two here, okay? So what we're going to do is we've got about 150 grams each. And we're going to take half of the mixture and form our little patties, okay? So you just want to go here. Again, take your time, a little bit of care. And just fold it and mold it into your patties there. And again, just to your personal preference how you like. There's nothing really neat about making a burger, but I think that looks pretty damn good. So here you come. Have a look at that there, okay, excuse the messy fingers, just deal with it, it's part of the experience. So there you go, one perfect burger here, and we'll go for the next again. That egg just makes such a difference, I've made this without an egg, I've made it with egg whites, and just having the egg in here, it just brings everything together and makes it so easy to adjust. Perfect. There we go again, another one, sorted. So look at that guys, 
how long has that taken me? That's taken me minutes to get my ingredients in front of me, put them in the bowl and mush it up with your hands. It's fun, if you've got kids and children, you can do it with them as well, it's great. And the good thing about these is, you know exactly what's went into them. You can go and get a burger anywhere, but here you know exactly what's going into them. And with the little garnishes that I'm going to show you later on, it tastes incredible. I'm not even just joking saying that because it's my burgers and I'm making them. I would rather have these than have a burger when I'm going out. So just because you know exactly what's going into them, the nutritional profile of them is perfect. The, the low fat buns, everything, it just comes together and it's a great meal, high protein, low carb. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to go over to the cooker, I'm going to show you how to cook them, how to sear them and then what to do just to finish them off and then we'll plate up and I can't wait to tuck into these. Let's go. Right guys, so we've got the pan nice and nice and hot. Remember when you're cooking red meat, we want to sear it, so we want that nice golden crust on top. We don't want to kind of boil the steak where it's that kind of slacky brown colour. We want it really crispy and nice and lean in the middle, okay? So we're going to pot them on, hot griddle pan. You can hear that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook these burgers for about two minutes on each side to begin with until we get an even kind of coating on the outside. Then after that we're just going to eye it. It really depends on how you like your meat cooked. For me, even the steaks and my burgers, I like them nice and lean in the middle, nice and pink. So we'll cook each one for maybe four minutes per side, get them out and again, same with the steak, let them rest. Let the rest and juices come out and let them really, really firm up and they'll be nice and tender inside. So we're going to flip these over after two minutes. And guys, a little tip, it's the same with cooking a steak as well. If you want to really kind of crisp up the outside, just pull the oil down to the corner and that's keep it over the heat, but that's really going to give you a crust around the outside as well. And you can just coat it around. Once you've flipped it over and it's just beginning to cook the other side, you can push it down so you're getting an even coating around the burger as well. Okay guys, so that's the burgers been cooking for about four minutes on each side. Now all we're going to do is we're going to throw them in the oven, which I've preheated to 210 degrees. We're going to put them in the oven for about six minutes. So you're just going to put them in, it's just going to ensure even cooking. Again, depending on how you like it, you can cook it for longer, you can cook it for shorter, it just depends on your personal preference. So we're going to put these in the oven, 210 degrees, for about five to six minutes. And it's going to cook them right through and we're going to plate up and we're going to enjoy it. Kind of lost for words guys. So excited. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let these rest. We're going to sit there for maybe two minutes. Just let them gather their thoughts and we're going to come up and plate it up. And I'm going to show you guys these burgers. Okay guys, so while they are resting, over you come. I'm going to take you over. Now, these are a lifesaver. These are something that I found not too long ago and my friends recommended them. These are called sandwich thins. Now I don't know if you get them all across the world, if you get them in the US. They're only 16 grams of carbs per serving, okay? So you get two thins per serving, 16 grams of carbs, and that's gonna be the majority of your carbs in the whole burger. You think when you go to any burger joint where you're gonna get a burger, you have no chance you're gonna get carbs, 16 grams in your bun for the entire burger, okay? I've tried a few different methods and they're best served toasted. So while that's resting, I'm just gonna pop them in the toaster, they're a lot thinner than bread, so just keep an eye on them. And once they pop up, we're going to go over and we're going to plate up. Right guys, burgers are rested, buns are toasted, now we're just going to make the garnish, okay? So, we've got some Greek yogurt in here, any type you like. We're just going to spoon in a teaspoon of mustard, again, any type you like. I've just got English mustard, it's because that's all we've got. Uh, a little bit of sea salt. A little bit of paprika maybe half a teaspoon, a little bit of pepper, tiny bit, and now we're just going to mix that up. And you should get this kind of yellow, kind of yolky consistency, if you have a look there, and it tastes incredible, just a couple of, maybe a tablespoon on top of the burger. All right, and just to dress, garnish we've got is we've got some rocket, tiny bit of lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil, Again, just use your hands, we're just going to get in and just mix it about. 
Okay, cool. Right, so, plating up. Going to get buns here. Meat patties. Okay, then we'll pop our garnish on. Doesn't need to be a lot, just a bit of rocket. Okay, going for tomato again. You choose. I love a tomato on a burger. Okay, and we're just going to spin a little bit of our garnish on here. Just spread it here. And there we go guys, gourmet burger. You're looking at about 52 grams of protein per serving, so per burger, 16 grams of carbs, and maybe just a couple, couple of grams of fat, depending on your meat and depending on what yogurt you get. Now, what would you pay for that at a restaurant? What would you pay for that going out? Oh, I'm just so excited to eat it. It's in check with my macros. Even though it's the new year over Christmas, I try not to overindulge during the week. Still like to eat tasty foods, Got my fiance and friends and all that coming over, so we like to make healthy foods and just keep them in check with calories, okay? So I promise you, I'm gonna try it. So here we go, okay? Oh, I'm excited. All right, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. It gets better every single time, look at that. Burgers cooked perfectly. You put the mustard yogurt mixer there. Oh, that feels like a cheat meal. I'm not even joking. That feels like I'm, I'm being naughty. I mean, that's bad. Um, I've trained this morning. 16 grams of carbs. Oh. 50 grams of protein. I tell you, I take that over chicken and rice any day of the week. Right, guys. Muscle Cook TV. I'm going to go and enjoy this. Remember, all the good stuff. Click the link below. We've got a load of free touch free stuff you can check out. Click anything you want, check musclecook.com, check our Facebook page, Instagram. If there's any recipes or any times of the day that you're struggling with your food and you want to try something new, comment or send me a message on uh, Facebook. I'll get back to you guys. Any recipes, anything you like, just ping me a message and I'll get it filmed for you because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to help you guys and I enjoy cooking. I love it. Yeah, you can tell I love eating. So yeah, take care guys and have a great new year. Mm.